there, my name is Plum B and today I'm going to bring you all another episode of The Sims 4 Honey Brew Legacy. We are actually beginning today's episode in the exact way that we used to in season 1 when we were following Feather. We are beginning in the morning and we are looking at the house and I thought for old time's sake we would kind of talk about the weather and what Willow Creek currently looks like as we used to. <laughs> so uh, right now of course since Harvest Fest did just end we are really at the end of autumn now in Willow Creek and it is coming winter so of course the trees are bare and it's looking very very cloudy and cold. Inside the house there is a lot of chaos going on right now because everyone <laughs> is waking up and grabbing breakfast that Feather did make so there is a lot of chaos right now. Guffy needs a bath and the toilet and just lots is going on but it's so lovely to just see everyone here. Of course not everyone because Willow isn't here but lots of the honey brews are here and I think it's as well I think it's amazing for Nolan to kind of be surrounded by his family and I just think it's so lovely because of course he's usually quite far away from them because of course he does live in San Mishino so it's just lovely that he can kind of spend these like mornings eating Feather's food and like hanging out with you know his aunts and his uncles and his grandparents I just think it's really really good. It is currently Saturday and it is the last day of autumn and tomorrow it will be Remembrance Day which is basically the day where you kind of remember friends, family members etc that have passed away and I think that the plan is that they're going to spend Sunday here or Saturday and Sunday in Willow Creek and then on Monday Nolan and Daisy are going to be getting the flight back to San Shino. Daisy is in a really really good mood today. She just is so happy to be around her family and to kind of just have a nice relaxing time with the honey brews and she actually plans on talking to Willow today and just Willow alone. So she's actually currently texting Willow asking if maybe they can meet up today just her and willow as she kind of wants to discuss something with her so that is probably what daisy is going to be doing today and i just have to quickly point out look how cute these little pictures are <laughs> I love, love, love having these pictures around my Sims house. We have one of Daisy and one of Fisher. No, actually, that one there is actually of Willow, not of Fisher. That one is of Willow and that one is of Daisy when they were toddlers. And then behind, <laughs> behind Willow, we have Fisher. We don't have one of Birch. We'll have to get one of Birch and like add it to the table. Lots of the honey breeze. I'm just watching some TV, hanging out by the fire. Raven and Nolan are playing dolls together, which is so adorable. Nolan actually gets on really, really well with Raven, which I think is really sweet. One of Raven's traits is actually childish, so she really actually enjoys to kind of play dolls, so it's so cute that these guys are kind of hanging out together. In here, Feather is spending some time with Fisher and Birch, which is really, really lovely to see. She's just really happy that she can talk to Fisher again, because of course he has been in Mount Kamarebi for quite some time, so she's just really excited to talk with him, and so is Finley as well. I think that now though I am going to go ahead and get Daisy to head out to of course meet up with Willow. Alrighty so Daisy has arrived at Willow's house and she is now going to go ahead and head inside. Okay so Willow has gone ahead and let her in. <laughs> Willow is still in her pajamas and she seems to be joking around with Daisy. I mean what's new she's probably doing some mischief. <laughs> so Willow is kind of asking Daisy you know what did you want to talk with me about and Daisy is going to say that you know I've been really really thinking lately and I was wondering do you remember Aurora the person I used to be friends with when I was like a teenager you know with all that drama and everything that I always told you about and Willow's like oh yeah well what about her you haven't talked about her since you were like 16. <laughs> Daisy is saying that she's been actually reading through her old channels lately and she has come across quite a few entries about Aurora and maybe her feelings towards Aurora and what he's kind of saying you know well, well did you have feelings for her when you know did, did you like her that way? Daisy is saying you know I, I don't know if I did but judging by what I wrote I seemed pretty sure of it and Willow's saying well do you think you'd still have feelings for her now? Well not her specifically it's confusing but I don't know maybe I could and James has actually sat down <laughs> to say hi to them and offer them if they offer them if they want any tea or, or coffee. James is now going on about <laughs> him and Willow's wedding because <laughs> he's just so excited that he's just come in and has just started talking about it. He's like, so Willow, we need to start discussing. And I think Willow's like, listen, James, we're probably, we haven't even decided on a date yet. 
James is just so excited, but he's going to go ahead and give them some privacy because he can tell they were clearly having a serious conversation that he just barged in on. But yeah, Daisy's now kind of saying, you know, I'm not exactly sure of how to make all of this, but I thought I should tell you because I knew that you would understand that you would listen. So yeah, so Daisy just had a little conversation with Willow about it and kind of told Willow, you know, what she's been thinking lately after kind of going back in her memory and rereading her diaries. I definitely think that Daisy feels a lot better kind of talking to someone about it and talking to, of course, Willow about it as Willow is a very understanding person and, you know, she's always been there for Daisy. Willow is practically the, like, biggest big sister <laughs> ever. So, you know, she's always going to be there for all of the Honeybrew siblings and Daisy's feeling really, really happy and just kind of feels a lot better kind of having talked to someone about it. And of course, she isn't really sure herself exactly how she feels yet because she has been suppressing her feelings for so long that she has ended up kind of confusing herself in a way, I suppose. But I feel like this is was a really, really good step in the right direction, kind of telling Willow about it. And Willow was really supportive and kind of said, you know, if you ever want to talk more, you can kind of you know, call me up and we can chat. Daisy did kind of say to Willow before James walked in, you know, can we not kind of bring this up with any of the other honey brews yet? As, as I said, I'm still not like 100% sure how I feel. So for now, it's kind of just between these two, but I think that, as I said, this is definitely a step in the right direction. Just as Daisy was getting her coat to leave, she has actually just gotten a call from Tyson. Tyson is saying to her that he apologizes for calling so suddenly and out of the blue, but he has made a decision on something and he wants to discuss it with Daisy so it'd be really really lovely if they could quickly meet up at the local restaurant to discuss about it. Since it is around 5 p.m so around dinner time Daisy is kind of saying you know what that would be a really really great idea. She is still kind of on a high after talking to Willow so she's kind of saying you know what that would be awesome. I'd love to <laughs> love to meet up with you Tyson. Daisy has arrived at the Grand Isle restaurant and she is currently waiting for Tyson to show up. She decided to get the table outside mainly because if we remember the very very awkward incident, well, awkward or you know what I mean but anyway where she rejected his proposal so I feel like it would be awkward for them both to kind of sit inside so despite it only being around 10 degrees they still decided to sit outside but here is Tyson we're probably not going to stay for dinner as they are sitting outside as it is quite cold so we're probably just going to get them to order some Earl Grey tea Tyson is thanking Daisy for kind of meeting up with him here on such short notice and Daisy like it's like no it's fine like I'm only in town for a couple of days I really don't mind Tyson is just getting straight to the point and he's saying Daisy I've been thinking and I want to move to Sao Moshino. Daisy's like, oh my goodness, wait, no, but really? You're, you moved to Sao Moshino? He's saying, you know, I've really thought about it and I want to live near to Nolan. I know I saw him a lot as he was a toddler, but I feel like I haven't seen him enough and now he's already a child. I mean, he's growing up so fast and I really want to be there for every second of his childhood and really every moment of his life. So I've decided I'm moving to Sao Moshino. Daisy's saying, but you know, you'd love it in Willow Creek. You said so yourself. Willow Creek is your home and where you feel the most happy. So why why are you deciding to move to Samishino? I mean, I'm happy for you, Tyson. I want you to do what makes you happy. It's your life and everything, but I'm just wondering. Wherever Nolan is, is where I'm going to be most happy. And because he isn't in Willow Creek, I'm not the happiest I can be, but I know I'll be much more happier if I am in Samishino. It does look like Nolan is going to be moving to Samishino. Not in with Daisy and Nolan, but he is going to be moving which is honestly really really exciting. I think this is great. I think this is a great decision and Nolan will be overjoyed to hear that his dad is going to be much much more nearer to him. I'm just so so excited and happy and I think Daisy is really really happy with this as well. It is getting quite late now though so I am getting Daisy to kind of say goodbye to Tyson. So yeah I am now getting Daisy and Tyson to both head home. Alrighty so we are now home and Daisy has gotten into her pajamas and she's currently giving Nolan a hug and she's like you are going to be very very happy tomorrow and he's like why am I going to be happy tomorrow? Remembrance Day is meant to be sad <laughs> and she's like no no, you'll be happy for a different reason. I just love the cozy feeling in here right now. Like, oh, I'm just so obsessed. <laughs> I love the honey bruise. I'm going to be so sad when we do head back to Samish, you know, and we won't be seeing any of this adorable dynamic anymore <laughs> with them all. Good morning, everybody. So it is currently another 
frosty, cold morning. It is actually the first day of winter today, meaning that it is Remembrance Day. And we don't really have a lot of Sims to remember. The only <laughs> Sims we have are probably Sprout and Hazelnut, who are our two dogs that have passed away. But either way, we're definitely going to still spend time as a family today that they're kind of already doing, actually. <laughs> They're once again having breakfast together. I am just really trying to capture them all having breakfast together because I don't know, I feel like this is kind of a rare thing, like everyone being here except from Willow. I feel like this is just such like a rare thing, but it's such like a lovely thing because it's just great seeing them all kind of slowly wake off and then come to the kitchen and then eat some whatever food that Feather has made. Feather and Raven are currently talking. They are really, really getting along. They've Raven kind of, you know, when she first arrived, she kind of was struggling to find her place in the honey bruise I suppose because they are all so close but I feel like now we are of course at the last day of them all being here I feel like Raven has kind of fitted right in which I think is lovely but we have got a little pop-up with Nolan oh my god we haven't got one of these for such a long time um not smart enough I've been trying to do homework for school but the last few assignments have felt really hard maybe I'm not smart enough to do it what do you think? I assume he's asking Daisy, Birch, or Fisher because if he was asking Finley or Fe Feather, there'd be way more options because they have higher parenting skills. So I'm just going to assume this is Daisy and she only has one option, which is unfortunate, but <laughs> at least she'll get up her parenting skill. And she's going to say to him, spend more time, practice makes perfect. Oh my gosh, it wasn't Daisy, it was Birch. <laughs> that is so adorable how Birch, like Nolan went to Birch <laughs> to ask him about school advice. That's just so funny to me. He should have asked Willow because Willow loved school. Like if you remember, she was obsessed with school and learning. She's literally an administrator, I believe. That's her job in a school. So I feel like he should have asked her, but she's not here. So he went to Birch, which I think is so cute. It looks like Nolan and Birch are actually out in the garden, which I'm not really sure what they're doing because it is winter now, so nothing can really grow. But maybe Nolan had some questions about gardening anyway. So he went to go ask Birch, which I think is really cute. Birch is kind of saying to him, you know, why don't you go ahead and take care of the chickens for a little bit? You know, I'll help you out if you need, if you need any help. He's currently collecting some of their eggs, which must be so fun for him and definitely something which he has not done before. He's also scattering the feed nearby for the chickens as well. I love how he's also cleaning the coop. He, Feather's kind of saying to him, thank you so much Nolan, you're such a big help. If only Nolan lived here all the time, <laughs> we just would, we would get him to just take care of the chickens. I love how the honey breeze, who like gardening, like Finley, Feather, Birch and Nolan, I suppose Nolan likes gardening now, <laughs> are all hanging out together outside. Whereas the Sims who don't care as much for that, like Raven, Fisher and Daisy are all kind of hanging out inside by the comfort of the fire which I think is adorable. Because it is a sunny day I thought that I am going to get the honey bruise to kind of go out together, meet up with Willow along with James just kind of and Tyson too and just kind of go somewhere for the day. So I think because it is freezing cold you're probably going to head over to the Willow Creek archive mainly because I think they want to show Nolan it because of course Nolan has kind of been around Willow Creek quite a bit now which I think is lovely but he hasn't been to the library yet so I think we're going to head there. Alrighty so we have arrived at the Willow Creek archive library. It looks like Nolan has found Tyson so these two are sitting together which is so so cute. <laughs> I love this so much. I love how they're both on individual chairs. Tyson is saying to him I have some amazing news to, to share with you. I am going to be moving to Sam and Shino. And as you can tell, they are both really, really happy with this. Nolan is overjoyed to hear that Tyson is going to be moving to Sam and Shino. And he's like, wait, really? This is the best news I've ever heard. So these two are now talking about that. You guys, I literally decided to see what the other honey breeze are doing. Raven, Birch, and Daisy are all just outside reading. This is, the, I don't know why I find this so funny. I just do. Like Daisy is on a rocking chair and then behind her, we just have like Raven and Birch just reading a book. I just find this so incredibly funny and just adorable. Wait, oh my gosh. <laughs> Fisher is here too. I didn't even notice Fisher. This is honestly incredible. Look at all of these honey brews reading. Feather would definitely approve of this. The honey brews have managed to find a speaker which is playing music. So of course it wouldn't be the honey brews if they didn't all dance to some music playing on a speaker. So they are all here now doing some dancing in the library. Although my game sound isn't on, I will let you know that this is classical music. So they are doing some crazy dances to classical music. Like <laughs> You'd think they were listening to like electronica or something, but no, they are listening to classical music and 
they're all having a boogie with it which I just think is the most adorable thing ever. I thought to round off this very very lovely day I'd get all the honey brews to go out to dinner at of course the Grand Isle restaurant which is the only restaurant in Widow Creek <laughs> to go get dinner together. I had to split them into two tables which took longer than you might think it would because you can only have eight sims per group so on this table we have four sims on this table we have four sims so as you can probably imagine <laughs> lots of chaos but i think it's good that they're, they're all kind of split up I and mean, it's not good i'd rather them all be sitting together but it's definitely i feel like it'd be a lot more chaotic if they were all sitting at one table nolan is currently entertaining everyone on this table <laughs> which is quite fun thinley is kind of saying how sad it is that lots of them are going to be leaving tomorrow feather is kind of saying to finley and ray then you know why don't you guys move to Willow Creek and Raven is saying you know we are really really happy living in Mount Kamarebi and my family are there and everything so we'll probably be staying so everyone now is kind of just discussing random things and trying to talk as much as possible i just realized that nolan and willow have ordered the exact same thing <laughs> they both have fish tacos which is so adorable i love how despite everyone being on different tables they're still managing to talk to each other like i've got like if you see the sims like looking over to the other table it's because <laughs> they're still talking to each other despite like being on different tables which i just think is so funny <laughs> okay so this table's food has now arrived <laughs> Thank goodness, but it also looks like there's a big- oh no, good, the waitress took it away, there's a big sack of dirty dishes. This is what everyone else ordered, if you guys were kind of curious to see what, what each honey brew would order. <laughs> Nolan is getting quite tired, so Birch did offer to go ahead and to take Nolan home. Tyson is also going to go ahead and head home as well. Finley and Feather are also heading home now as well as they are very, very tired. And that just leaves these five now who are just kind of finishing off their meal. James is saying, you know, I know it's midnight and everything, but why don't we all go down to the Blue Velvet nightclub? Everyone is finding this hilarious because they're like, we're literally <laughs> not even in the right clothing. Why on earth would we head down to the Blue Velvet nightclub? Club. So as you can tell, they did decide that it would be a good idea to head down to the nightclub despite it being almost 1am. Daisy's just remembering just how boring <laughs> the Blue Velvet nightclub is as she's kind of coming into it. The nightclub is nice, it's just, it's the only nightclub in town and in my opinion, it feels more of like a lounge than a nightclub. I come over here to see this guy trying to flirt with Willow. <laughs> We've just got this random guy here who is trying to flirt with Willow, which I think is so funny. Everyone else is over here drinking some beer. Fisher did offer to buy them all drinks, which was really, really lovely of him. I go into the other room to find Daisy passed out <laughs> on one of the sofas. Oh my goodness. Daisy, are you kidding me? <laughs> she, just got, she just fell asleep. Fisher is currently taking a picture of Daisy <laughs> asleep to kind of, I don't know, maybe use his blackmail at some point. <laughs> No way, I go outside to find Raven as well passed out on one of the benches. <laughs> and it looks like Fisher is copying the two of them by also going to sleep. Oh no, he's up again. <laughs> he's like, I probably shouldn't fall asleep because Willow and James are nowhere to be seen. They've probably gone home. I should probably wake up the others and tell them to head home because it'd be so, so, so awkward if we woke up at 8 a.m. tomorrow still in the nightclub. So everyone is now slowly making their way home. <laughs> I feel like they're now realizing this wasn't the best idea to go get drunk at 2am. It is now the next morning and later on this afternoon, Daisy and Nolan will be heading back to Samoshino. The next time we'll be seeing Daisy and Nolan, they will be back in Samoshino. I hope that you did enjoy today's episode and I'd love to hear all your thoughts about it in the comment section down below. And if you did enjoy, do not forget to leave a like and subscribe. We'd love to have you join the Plum family and I'll be seeing you all in the next video.